بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم هلا وسهلا بك في فيديو ديفينيشن ابسلون دلتا ديفينيشن تو شو ذات ذا ليميت اوف سون فاكشن جوز تو جو تو سون ليميت وي ويل ستارت ويل ذيس ليميت هاو كان وي شو ذات ذا ليميت يوزين ابسلون دلتا از ايكوال تو 13 When f x goes to 2, we have here 3, 2 square 4, 12 plus 1, 13, divided by 2 minus 1 is 13. How, uh, how we can use the definition? The definition, we say the limit of f of x, when x goes to x0, is equal to f. This is equivalent. This is equivalent to show that for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find the delta which depends on epsilon greater than zero, such that for all x in the domain of definition, and such that the difference between x zero and and uh, x and x zero, such that for all x which verify x minus x zero is less than delta. Uh, x is in uh, its domain, domain of definition of the function. Uh, delta epsilon, this implies that f of x minus f of x zero is less than epsilon. Here, this is supposed given, and all of this we don't care about. The, the unique points that we need to show is the existence of at least one uh, delta epsilon such that this, this uh, proposition is true. Let us start with this function. So, <coughs> let epsilon be any given real number. Such that and, and let x such that x minus here two is two is delta. Let epsilon be in a given. Can we find delta which can depend on epsilon such that for all x in uh, D, D, F, domain of one hand, verify x minus 2 less than delta of epsilon. This implies that, that 3x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 13 is less than, is less than epsilon. Actually, what we do in uh, real life, we take we take this just this difference without epsilon. So let consider, let consider three x squared plus one plus one divided by x minus one minus thirteen. This is equal to. We have. 3x squared minus 13x minus 13x plus 13 plus 1 plus 13 divided by x minus 1. Since we are uh, we are uh, speaking about two. We suspect that this polynomial will be uh, divisible by x minus two. <coughs> if we take here two, we get 
we get two power, two power to four, four power uh, times three, eleven, eleven plus uh, four, fourteen, uh, twenty, twenty-six, and thirteen times two, twenty-six minus plus. Yeah, this is true. Actually, this is what happens at uh, actually all time. This is equal to x minus 1, x minus 2. And here what uh, we can do, we have We have 3x squared minus 13x plus 14 divided by x minus minus 2. Here we have 3x, 3x squared minus 6x. We take minus plus we get minus 7x plus 14 uh, it's yeah minus 7 minus 7 cell so minus 7x plus 14 if we take minus it will be plus and here minus and zero so here we have 3x minus 7. So from the side, we have this and we will let it like as in this form. For the moment, we will let it as it is present. But here, But here x goes to 2, so there exists a neighbor of 2, such that x goes to 2. This is 2, and we have x comes from this side, and it comes from this side. But x hasn't the right to be equal to 1, this is a forbidden, the forbidden value, so we can start from, we can start from one and half uh, from the uh, left side and we can start from for example a three for the right side so we have three and here one we can consider this interval for the purpose of uh, calculating the limit so without loss of uh, generality let x be between three and one and a half. Why? Because the limit is a local concept. So it doesn't matter if we came uh, if we came from far. This will not change the limit, the reality, the limit, the existence of the limit, or the non-existence of the limit. So this limit is a local concept. Um, please remain this. Keep this in your mind, you can always choose an adequate, a coherent interval with, uh, on which we have no problem with uh, the non-determination of some, some uh, question or some uh, value. We can take it x between 1 and half and 3, we can take it 1.7 uh, and 2.1, uh, we can take it 1.8 and uh, 2.2, uh, we have an, an infinity uh, uh, cases, possible cases to uh, choose the interval to fix one. So I will fix just this one, it is a very nice one. So, here we need to uh, estimate this expression and this expression and this expression using this choose so we have two points to uh, to uh, control if we have this this implies that this implies that we have what 
for x minus 2, we get here x minus 2 less than 1, 3 minus 2, and greater than minus, uh, minus 0 dot 5. 3x minus 7, if we times by 3, we got here 9, and here we get uh, 4, uh, 4 dot 5. We got, we got 3x, this is less than 9, and greater than 4.5. If we take minus 7, we get minus 7 here. So here we get min, minus 7, and here we get minus 7. So, so 3x minus 7 is less than 2, and greater than minus 2.5. Yeah, it's okay. The last one, the last one, we can, we can, we can take this out, it's okay. The last one, we have x minus 1, which is less than, than 2. And if we take minus 1, yeah, and the grid than, than 0, that. So, here, this implies that the, uh, the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 1. It's less than the greatest, uh, greatest between them with uh, absolute value. This implies that uh, uh, 3x minus 7 is less than the greatest one with absolute value 2 dot 5. And the x minus, minus 1 is less than, is less than 2. If we take one divided and greater than they are uh, both of them are positive. So if we take the, the inverse, we get one divided by x minus one since they are positive. Absolute value is less than one divided by zero dot five and one half. So here, this will be less than, we have to keep this one, we will use this, this estimation later, is bounded by 2.5, this one is divided by 0 0.5, and we keep here x minus 2. At this stage, we can at this stage we can uh, we can take epsilon since it is a, a sufficient condition. So let this be less than epsilon. If this is less than epsilon, this implies that that x minus two is less than epsilon times zero dot five divided by two. Uh, times 5. From here, we can say that we uh, finish our uh, uh, our uh, section uh, delta of epsilon. What, how we can reformulate our, our answer? We will say that for, uh, actually this is true, this is true because we use the characterization because for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find delta of epsilon which is equal to what? It is equal to the minimum between what? Between this value, this delta, epsilon times 0 0.5 divided by, and the second one, the second one is this one. The minimum between 1 and 1 and epsilon times times 0 0.5 divided by 2 uh, dot 5 such that such that for all x which verify 
x minus 2 less than delta of epsilon, we will, put, uh, uh, we will deduce that uh, the difference 3x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 1 minus 13 is less than epsilon. So you can verify it, but if you uh, take this, this delta, it will be true. This is the solution. Sometimes you can find in books that they take just this one. They take epsilon just for this one. But actually, this is not true. Why? Because uh, we have this condition when we take x between... Uh, between two number, uh, numbers, the neighbor of the desired point, for example, here two, we take a neighbor. When we take the, the neighbor, we have to pay attention because at each time we change the neighbor, we change the, uh, we change the estimation of x minus two. So we have two estimations of x minus two. The first one is using uh, this estimation and the second one is using the the, uh, the the answer one that we that we propose so at each time if we propose a new answer one we will get a new value a new estimation and we have to take it using this so we have to say why this is true why uh, we have to uh, to uh, clarify why we uh, choose an an answer one an answer one about the desired point and from this interval, we have this estimation. Yeah, this is the hardest one in this exercise. Uh, we uh, move to the second example. For the second example, here we have the definition, a uh, new definition. This is true if for all a greater than zero, can we find the delta of a such that at each time when x is positive for sure, because we came from the, uh, the, the right side, uh, for all x such that x minus zero is less than delta of a, this implies that, this implies that one divided by x is greater than a. So here we can take off minus zero. Uh, and this is uh, clearly true. Why? Because a is positive. This is a given one. Since uh, one divided by x is greater than a, this implies that x is less than one divided by a. So it is sufficient to take, to take delta of a equal to one divided by a. This is uh, this is very simple. How about the uh, third one? In a symmetric uh, way, this is true. Why? Because for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find B, uh, a real number which can depend on epsilon greater than zero, such that for all x, such that x is greater than b of epsilon, one has what? One has one divided by x minus, minus zero is less than epsilon. And since we, uh, we go to plus infinity, this means that if this is positive, so we can just take this and minus zero, we can take it off. What we have, we have 1 divided by x is less than epsilon. In this, uh, in this, uh, in this way, we, we get x greater than 1 over epsilon. So it is sufficient to take b of, b of epsilon equal to what? Equal to 1 divided by epsilon. And, uh, and, and at each time that we take x greater than 1 epsilon, we... Uh, we get uh, slightly that uh, one divided by epsilon is less than uh, one divided by x is less than epsilon. How about the last one? The 
for the last one, for all epsilon greater than zero, can we find the uh, like uh, delta of epsilon? And uh, of course, it can depends on on x zero, on x zero, such that for all x which is uh, x zero here is equal to f, such that for all x. For all x in the domain of definition R plus, such that such that x minus a is less than delta of epsilon and a. This implies that what that that x minus a is less than epsilon. Let us start from this this expression. Here we have the in the square root of i minus the square root of i is equal to x minus i divided by the square root of x plus the square root of i and this is less than 1 divided by uh, they are positive so it is less than one of them uh, so here we can say that this is less than epsilon it is sufficient here to take to take delta of epsilon and a x zero. We can take it just the square root of a times epsilon, and this delta will fit our uh, desired uh, result. This finishes this video. It was a little bit quick. Thank you very much. See you next time.